This is day 17 of 30 days strengthening your marriage, and you might not agree with me on this one, that's okay. Uh, the marriage, then the kids. The marriage, then the kids. Now, first of all, I have to say that kids are one of my favorite parts of life. Lori and I have four kids. I love our kids. I love spending time with our kids. I'm so grateful for our kids. I truly believe every child is a gift and to be cherished. Uh, but I still think that the marriage is first, then the kids. Now, let me uh, rewind for a while and look in the past. And I would say, out of all of our years together, the biggest transition for Lori and I was going from no kids to one child. And much more so than dating or engagement or marriage or even multiple kids, that first child, maybe I was naive, but I thought, one little child, how much could this affect? And I'll tell you that small child affected everything in our marriage. I didn't realize what a big change was coming. So with that, uh, now if you think about having kids in the home for maybe 20 years, uh, that's a long time and then there's gonna be an empty nest. This is what happens, sadly. The kids almost suffocate the marriage and the marriage gets put on the back burner and then when the kids leave, it's like, well, who are you? Like, how do we do life? Like, are we still close? And we don't want that. You don't want that. Here's the key, stay close even at every stage for the kids' development, prioritize your marriage. And this is important for a couple reasons. First of all, your marriage, it's the long-term relationship in terms of living together. Uh, eventually, your kids will probably move out. Also, it's the closest relationship. I mean, it's the oneness, the unity, uh, physical, emotional, relational that marriage right there, you want to prioritize that, build into that. Nothing is wasted as far as investing in your marriage. I also want to uh, make this very clear. The greatest gift you can give to your kids is a healthy marriage. And when they see how your affection, your tone, your closeness, when they see how you live that out, that builds in for a child a sense of security, a sense of hope, a picture of marriage for the future. And then yes, so much love for the kids. Uh, now, if you're a single parent right now, and maybe this is your second marriage, this is not a guilt trip. Uh, no, I've seen my mom as a single parent just go all out for me during that season. And so I admire the dedication of single parents. But I also wanna point out that when you invest in your marriage, your kid will be uh, so appreciative, far more that they can verbalize. And so make that marriage a priority, closeness together. And then out of that, uh, when you're working well together, you're gonna have so much more love and time and attention for the kids. It actually frees you up emotionally because you have this support base and this closeness that you're operating out of, not out of tension and frustration. So invest in the marriage. And here's one practical thing you can do right now. Maybe it's been a while. Affirmation is so important. And if you haven't in a while, take time today to just share five or even 10 things that you appreciate about your spouse. Appreciation is one of the ways that you can value and prioritize the marriage. And it's important to notice each other, talk to each other, build each other up. And that's a positive step in the right direction. So take time right now, share the affirmation. Remember, marriage is face to face, not just side to side. So look each other in the eyes, sincerely build each other up with some affirmations and start to prioritize your marriage more even while the kids are in the house.